Now I'm going to show you how to replace your custom logo with the logo on your website. And I'm going to show you in the Genesis framework. If you're using Woo themes, this is even easier. You just go into your framework theme settings and upload it and you're done. Um, but on the Genesis framework, we'll look in here and it says we want to use an image logo instead of just the text. And uh, okay, so, we, so we're going to use that image based logo. So now we need to upload the logo to our website. So we're going to go to media, add new. And I'm going to go to select files. And we're going to look for income school logo. There it is. I saved it as a PNG file so it has a transparent background. Great. And I'm going to save the file URL. Great. So there's my logo. And it's now we need to get it on the site. So we need to add the code onto the site to put that logo there. So let's go into, we'll cancel this. It's running a process right now. Cancel. All right. Now we're going to go into our functions.php and we need to find where it is adding the logo. So let's just do a command F to do find this and we're going to do logo. Oh, it's not there. Let's see if it's in style.css. We'll just search for logo. Great, here it is. And it is using the logo found in images slash logo.png. We are just going to change that. We're going to use the logo found here. And we'll click Save. All right, now that's changed. We go to IncomeSchool.com. And... We've broken it. We've broken it. Let's figure out what we did wrong. We are at HTTP Income School. Oh, that's because I put ping twice. Now we'll save it, and it'll show us our logo right there. All right, there's our logo on our Genesis site, and hope that helps.